What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Here is the 42124 off-road buggy set I reviewed some time ago. If you did not see that video, then you can watch it by clicking on the link in the top right corner. It has great parts, so I had to get another set as soon as it became available around here. And what can we do with two buggies? Time to swap the motor and do a comparison. The original one has two large powered up Technic motors, one for drive and one for steering. The design of the rear axle makes it super easy to use an XL motor instead of the L1, as the bigger motor fits without any modification. You simply need to follow the exact same instructions. So here are the two builds. I swapped a few panels as well and did not apply stickers to the modified one to make it more recognizable. If you remember my early comparison tests with these motors, I measured about 10% difference in no load speed and around 15% difference in torque. I know those tests were very far from being scientific, and if we take a look at Philo's excellent LEGO motor comparison charts, by the way, if you don't know this page, then I highly recommend to bookmark it, the link is in the description. So, based on this chart, the two motors should have very similar properties. The two buggies are totally identical, apart from the motors. Both have fully charged Lada batteries from IKEA. The XL motor is slightly heavier, but the overall weight difference of the two is less than 3%. Since the Control Plus app only runs with the stock motor configuration, and the tiny virtual joystick is basically useless to control the buggy, I will use my custom profile in the Powered Up app with the Powered Up remote. By the way, the official update of the Control Plus app is released now with the profile for the buggy, and unfortunately I found zero differences between this and the beta version I tested in my review. This means my opinion remains the same, this is the worst control pass profile created so far, with the joystick and the useless sound effects. And the virtual battle mode. Anyway, back to the test. So first let's see a speed comparison. There's snow outside so I have to do this test indoors. Unfortunately there's not much space and the wobbly front axle of the set is causing trouble. It is quite difficult to run two buggies so close to each other, they really won't go that straight. After a few tries I gave up and recorded them separately. Not everything is visible on the video that I experienced, but I will try to explain. XL motor version on top, original with the L motor is on the bottom. It's not really visible here, but after a dozen attempts the original L motor version seemed to have a quicker start, it had some advantage after the first meter. But later on the XL motor version was catching up and with a slightly better acceleration it managed to take the lead. This would support my previous measurements about the speed difference of the motors, with the XL version being slightly faster. The slower start could be explained with the weight difference, maybe. But altogether the difference is not really significant at this point. Now to the climb test. The ramp is not really steep, only 26 degrees. The buggy is really tuned for speed and not for torque, as this is already too much, only goes halfway up with the stock L motor. Now comes the XL version, and my major disappointment. Despite my previous measurements, the XL motor seems to have less power here, so probably less torque. It does not go as high as the other one. Let's change the ramp and make it only 20 degrees. Now the original L motor version has no problem going to the very top. If I let it roll back and try to stop before hitting the ground to climb again, it can go up a little bit, but that's too much. The version with the XL motor, however, cannot reach the top under the exact same circumstances, it simply stops after a while. The rollback test is also worse, after stopping the car it can barely move. So for me this test kind of eliminated my previous measurements and I'm pretty confused. The XL motor is supposed to have some advantage over the L1 since it takes more space, but based on these tests it can only offer a slight but almost irrelevant speed advantage and it is apparently even less powerful when it's supposed to climb. Now I completely understand why the L motor was used in this set, there was no point adding the bigger XL motor. But this raises so many questions. What is the actual purpose of the XL motor, why does it even exist? I will have to do further tests with probably heavier vehicles to see if there's any difference if the motor has to move a bigger weight. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, if you have some ideas for a test setup then please also share them. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe and tap the notification bell if you don't want to miss my technic reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time, bye bye!